Maybe you start picking up your guitar, you know. You start imitating those uh, sounds because, you know, face it, if you have an acoustic guitar and you're on a train, you're not going to be doing anything but playing along. <laughs> you hear that whistle as it uh, heads out of town? about where the actual crossroads is. You know that place that Robert Johnson uh, sold his soul to the devil to make that deal with the devil, you know? I didn't want to make a deal. I just wanted to play there. <laughs> Put it on an album. But you know, we got these directions from an old uh, voodoo practitioner that used to work on Beale Street. We followed these directions down to the crossroads. We, uh, it's kind of like a treasure map, you know? We went down this old highway, took a left, where this, you know, plantation used to be. Took a left where the old uh, you know, general store used to be on that plantation. You go over some railroad tracks, which are no longer in service anymore, right next to a big bend in the railroad tracks. And then there's this old dirty crossroads right there in the middle of two farms with a big old tree next to it, a stop sign. And it's right next to an old plantation cemetery where they used to bury all the workers out there, next to an old church that uh, only the foundation still stands today. So, you know, long story short, short we found the uh, grandson of that voodoo practitioner Latin, uh, after we recorded down there, and we asked him, you know, we got these directions from your grandfather, and we wanted to know the real story behind them. And he said, well, that was the real crossroads, and a lot of people have different feelings about it, but there's a literal story behind those crossroads down there. He said, back when you were hopping trains, you couldn't just hop off when the train was at full speed. You had to wait until there was a sharp curve in the track. Because the train has to slow down for that sharp curve, or else it's going to fly off the tracks. And if you wait to jump off at the station, you're going to get arrested. You don't want to do that. Or you're going to be singing those work songs, not those train songs. So you wait till that train slows down. Whistles to let people know it's going to cross that road. Mm -hmm. 
That's when you put your hat back on, you get that guitar in your guitar case, you look at that ground, and then you jump. You hear that train go off in the distance. But those crossroads we were re recording at, as the story goes, was right next to the best hobo tracks in the Mississippi Delta. And that was the best curve in the Mississippi Delta to jump off of that train. And when you're uh, devoid of a mode of transportation, you start sticking your thumb up at the nearest crossroads. <laughs> and so all those guitar players that used to hitchhike back then and jump trains, all the best guitar players would be hitching at that one dirty crossroads. So people started talking. There must be something magical about those old crossroads down there. And all those guitar players would be playing that train song. 